to the Nutramedical Report, hour number two, stream four on GCN. Do get a GCNlive.com membership. Get all the archives from all the great GCN shows. Also, you can listen on Nutramedical, N-U-T-R-I, medical.com or clay and iron.com do sign up on both websites because you get our free e-newsletters will begin launching again next week right after the labor day weekend those newsletters are sent out roughly every two weeks with lots of great news specials information and things that are going to give you lots of links you can also go to the archives we usually have to show up either by this evening or the next day they're all cross-indexed by date and by topic we're also putting together sets on those so they'll be available that in the fall we have plans not only for more DVDs and documentaries, the DVD is now available for the conference in Vancouver, two talks. The first talk is the uh, 20 minutes, the origins in the Grand Hall at the Vancouver 9-11 Truth Conference of the, nine, of the uh, uh, Illuminati, the global matrix, the global elite, the origins of the New World Order. And the next 40 minutes, 30 anomalies plus the proof. The proof, significant 30 anomalies going back to the anonymous Finnish munitions expert uh, work by Dr. Ed Ward, Ted Tweetmeyer, and many other scientists, and many hundreds of hours of work that I've done in conjunction with other nuclear scientists. We now have success. We are going to be testing to parts per quadrillion. We will find out the answer, and we'll report it, positive or negative, because science is science. It's based on numbers, not my opinion, just like when I said predictively and, and not based on opinion that the avian flu is completely weaponized. I have the documents from the, the Doctor Who World Health Organization. I have the gene sequences. It's not an opinion when it's science. And once we have the numbers, we already have significant to show uranium, beryllium, which is a neutron donor and a neutron amplifier. Uh, we have the tritium, 48,000 curies in the World Trade Center. We have the 30 anomalies, which you can see, plus additional historical issues that you need to know about. Uh, in addition to thermate, and there's pretty good proof that there was thermate in the World Trade Center, but there's multiple layers used to make this Mona Lisa demolition uh, and the grave danger of, in the words of Chertoff and Cheney, of another or multiple cities being hit as a pretext to start a nuclear attack against Iran, which will precipitate a nuclear exchange, at least a limited nuclear war, a cataclysm of the global economy, and in the midst of a climate shift, not due to the Carbo Nazi plan, but in the, uh, literally the dialectic of chaos is always being stage managed by the pay people, same people that present the quote answer, which is their solution. Problem, reaction, solution, they're always ready with their particular plan to corral us and control us. And you need to know that every religion, whether it's the uh, Roman Catholics through the Jesuits, the Jews through the Sabbateans, the Wahhabists within Islam, and uh, all of the other major religions, all of them have been infiltrated at the top level by these satanic, luciferian, bisexual pedophiles. Uh, so we don't want to just target one group. They're all bad. And uh, they are all shaking hands, urinating in each other's boots with a knife at each other's belly and a gun at each other's back. That's the kind of dialect that we have to realize we're dealing with pirates. And in fact, that's why the Jolly Roger was a skull and bone. So uh, with that little segue, we're going to introduce our brilliant and cutting through the matrix expert, Alan Watt, who's on at least twice a month to cut through the matrix. Do visit his website, Cutting Through the Matrix, and get his documents. Once you start reading these, you'll start analyzing, and you'll go beyond, as I say, you'll transcend the dogma and the dialectics of confusion, the babble that's out there, and you'll start to make up your own mind, which is what God gave you, a mind to be made up. Don't let us do it, for God's sake. Be a skeptic. Uh, even when we show you zone one, two, or three information, go check it out yourself and accept what you can at this time. We don't expect you to, but things are moving along so quickly, we don't have a lot of time, so we need to move forward. Welcome to the program, Alan. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Alan, um, there's a lot of things going on lately, and again, uh, I, I find it hilarious when I see literally the building is on fire, and someone wants to accuse the firefighters for causing uh, injury while they're trying to grab people from the building, and their house, their, their literally their night clothes are on fire trying to get them out of the building. It's uh, we see this when we see infighting within the so-called 9/11 movement. We see false accusations that you don't do this or that. Uh, all of it is, is is to say, if I had a dollar <laughs> uh, for each time that I was. Uh, uh, accused of being this or that, I would say I, I could be a very rich person. Uh, it doesn't deserve a response because the people that are doing it fall into one class of three things, and uh, not by any names. 
they fall into the class of being uh, egomaniacs, which is not good because you need to do what you can do, whether you're talented or not, and that might just simply be stuff a windshield with a CD copy of whatever you can from these shows or DVDs or buy some. Um, second thing is the group of people that are what I call clearly psychotic. They've focused on one issue and they've just really lost perspective. They're just not seeing the whole big picture. And the third group are, are literally infiltrators. We see people that have infiltrated the movement that really don't have a good agenda and they need to get a life along with people that are in the CFR, the billionaires, the millionaires, because they're all uh, caught in this matrix. I happen to know from my contacts and uh, various people that I've talked to at many levels that a lot of the people in the so-called New World Order are not happy with what's going on. The CFR members, these globalist millionaires, billionaires, they know that the cataclysms that could come could wipe them out too or kill them. And uh, they need to get a life and realize that we need to terminate this plan now to start World War III, to terminate the blowing out of the dollar, terminate the destruction of the environment with their yeah, eco-catastrophe policies while they shove carbon taxes down our throat. Uh, it's all a death march of the lemmings. And uh, to cut through that matrix, tell us your analysis of this death march that Bush is now back on the war drums uh, as a prelude in the next six months to attacking Iran while Putin's starting his bear bomber runs. The Chinese are ready to pull the U.S. dollar with their trillions of debt and their uh, derivatives, and uh, the economy is teetering on a total blowout. Well, I think it's a ex excellent coordination from those at the top of all countries, because the ones at the top of all countries are in bed together. They always have been. Sure they have. That's why, uh, at the same time, they're pirates. They're, they're pirates, and uh, what well, you find out, too, is it is a brotherhood at the top. You go down through the centuries, they've all had their brotherhoods and their coats of arms and their honorary degrees and all the rest of it. Yeah, and that includes, by the way, the KGB. I want this, everybody to get this. When the Gelenschaft and the German high-level Masonic orders, and there are two major ones that came together, the Thule and the, and the Gelenschaft, and they went to Japan to deal with the Black Dragon um, uh, uh, shoguns, they could exchange dialogue and dialectic and, and, and hand signs, etc., even though they didn't speak the same language. Yeah, even and, Lenin talked about it. Lenin himself talked about it. So did um, Trotsky. Trotsky wrote a, a book called My Life. And in there, he tells you that he was escorted through different countries, out of those countries, even the Soviet Union, by high-level KGB, who were also Masons, and they didn't have to use passports for any borders. They just gave the signs and walked right through. Of course, and the KGB are all Masonic. The people say, well, that was a, an atheistic country. Atheism for the external, uh, the, the bourgeoisie, and for the high-level Illuminati, or the Masons that ran the place, uh, it was all... Uh, their higher level belief that in fact they were God themselves. In fact, that's the underlying idea between the Kabbalism and uh, the uh, Sufism, the Salafism and the Wahhabism. All of these are all tied into the same uh, belief system that is very Luciferian. And, and if you also go into the money system, that's a big, the big one too. Never believe for an instant that the elite in your own country would ever give China the right to carry the debt if they thought that China could turn against them. If China does turn against what appears to be your country, it's because the elite want it that way, and the elite themselves and their money will not be touched. Well, of course, uh, people should you know, check a few facts. For example, three years ago, Carlyle Group bought the largest manufacturer of heavy equipment outside of the United States with a Caterpillar company in Illinois. Uh, that largest manufacturer in China and the largest construction companies were bought by the Carlyle Group. Um, and uh, at literally the, the communist government just passed over these national assets to this uh, foreign uh, corporate <laughs> takeover. And the reason why all these things happen is because it's all interlocked. And we, we do see the Jesuits. We do see the KGB. But guess what? At the time with the, with the uh, Berlin Wall fell, the KGB had $189 billion, according to external analysts, just in their assets in foreign countries, including stocks, hotels, resorts. The KGB... You didn't believe, people out there, you may not believe this, but they were billionaires from the Soviet Union. We'll be back in a moment with Alan Watt. You're listening to GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Welcome back. 
back to the Nutramedical Report, and we do cut through the matrix. Do visit cuttingthroughthematrix.com. Alan Watts, amazing site. Get his documents, and then you will be have your eyes open. And literally, once you've taken the red pill, you can't go back. You really can't go. And the people that we want to wake up at the top uh, that are listening, we want to talk specifically into the lives of the millionaires, the billionaires, the special forces, the computer programmers that target long-range weapons, the technologists, the scientists, the average mom and pop out there that realizes that their mortgage may have been set up in a leveraged system so that seven million people might lose their homes in the next two years, all by design by the globalists that move into foreign currencies and move back like a wave and take all of the assets. All of this by design. It's just so evil and so criminal and we need to expose it because it's always, it's never happened by chance, just like 1929 and the crash that they're trying to bring on by either triggering off a local regional war or a little terror act or a dirty bomb by quote Al-Qaeda. Again, Wahhabism, Al-Qaeda, all CIA connections are all extremely evil. Tell us uh, your analysis of what you see coming in the next six months, Alan. Attitude statements that they are going to have to go in, as they put it, to Iran, because now that's where all the, the insurgents are hiding the claim. Oh, yeah. But uh, we go back to the Project for a New American Century, which they published in the 1990s with their agenda to take out Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran, and Syria, and they're, they're following the exact course of their publication. So these guys are very good when it comes to planning. They do tell us what they intend to do. Then they find the excuses and make it so with the help of the media. And there's no doubt we're in an age of chaos as everything changes. And out of this age of chaos, they hope to bring about a completely new society, a complete new society with a new way of living um, with uh, no choices available for anyone. Uh, all your choices will be made for you from birth to death. And that's what they mean by a hundred years of war to bring this about. Yeah, and, and it's all documented. In fact, uh, the thing that's amazing is that it's part of their religion, and it proves, in fact, that they are the great architects of the universe, and they are, quote, the gods of this age, by literally putting out publicly, putting it in documents like the Project for the New American Century, NBIC, Nano Bio Information and Cognitive Documents for the Military, the uh, Nanotechnology uh, Documents at MIT, the Military Intelligence, all of these things in the public and published in what we post these Zone 1 articles, like the ones I've done at least 10 to 12 articles every day. You can just read those without reading anything else, and you'll see the Zone 1 information tells you we're not making this up. I mean, and one of the other tricks that they use is they make it look so bizarre that a person reporting it looks like a nut. You must be a psychotic, a paranoid. You must be delusional because you're, you're selling, telling us something or trying to sell us something. It sounds like a, a crazy person would make it up. But that's, unfortunately, one of their best things. If you want to hide a, a battleship, paint it pink and put a, you know, a plants around it and pretend it's not a battleship in your front yard. That's what they do. And they're ready to start literally the battleship in the front yard, a nuclear war in the Middle East. They're ready to make the Iranians choke off the oil. They're ready to crash the economies. And they've set it all up by their games. At the same time, they're doing genocide. They want to make 500, I found this out from Dr. Ernest Sternglass, 500 nuclear reactors perforating that's, again, a genocide against the genetics and the populations of China. And guess who owns all of this? Uh, it's the Queen, it's the Royals, it's the Jesuits, it's the same globalists, and they're all interlocked, including, by the way, Mr. Putin and the Japanese and all these higher-level elite. They're all interlocked, just like Sony, which is the standard oil of New York, and the Japanese when they made their deals after the Marshall Plan and the resurrection of Japan and Germany. Yeah, that's right. And, and these characters, uh, or even the largest shipping lines from Japan, uh, ran prison camps during World War II and they're still running uh, the big shipping companies today. Nothing really changes. Uh, they never knock down those who are successful in war because that's your entrance into it when you're, you've used your cunning and your abilities to succeed and acquire billions of dollars and hold on to it over one or two generations. Then that's your ticket into the elite. You've proven yourself worthy. 
and uh, you're now, you now belong to the club, you're knighted into the club, now you can intermarry. It doesn't matter what race you come from as long as you're from the dominant minority in any country. Yeah, and we see that with the Lee family in China. I mean, we're talking about communist China, we're talking about people that are literally mega billionaires or trillionaires. We see this uh, through other countries. You say, well, how could all of a sudden we have these oligarchs rise to power? Um, I remember in my medical school we had a, a, a lady who, who her father was the head of gastroenterology at our university who was actually a visiting professor from the Moscow University and this is the, uh, the medical school I went to in Canada uh, and uh, they said they never had shortages they always went with a little chit of paper down to the little gray building and anything they wanted CD you know what we get nowadays CDs but you know videotapes and luxury goods and whatever they wanted they always could get um, because all of this is manufactured for the masses for control. Shortages control, lack of proper energy technologies control, the what I call the chemical lobotomy of fluoridation of the Dasani water, the toxins, the biotoxins in our food supply, the weaponization with the codex. All of these are by design. It's not because they're stupid. They're very good at what they do. Uh, and People underestimate George Bush. George Bush is a dyslectic idiot. So if he tested, he tested an IQ of 93, but he has the intelligent cunning of a wild fox. He is not as stupid as people make him out to be. And the same with all the globalists. And he's being perfectly groomed to do exactly what he's doing. And he's doing exactly as a sock puppet what he's been told to do, which is to make the people you know, destroy the office of the presidency by having a buffoon in there that's a bisexual pedophile. Yeah, and they will, uh, as they bring us through all the chaos and get us to our knees, and we turn to them for help, they will eventually show us that their system is so corrupt that we must have a new one, and in comes the United Nations along the way, which is going to be a hundred times worse. Right, so what you need is a resurrection of the proper operation of the offices of the presidency, the constitution, and the court system, which is totally corrupt. And I just listened to a program the other day on Jeff Rents about, uh, and I couldn't believe it, I was just totally appalled that in Florida they are going after this woman because she uh, literally was giving people their rights, reading to them what is in the constitution and the Bill of Rights and the various uh, enactments of how uh, court procedures should be done. It's just educating them, and they tried to charge her with practicing law without a license because you can't tell people about their constitutional rights you're now acting like a lawyer because you're not allowed to teach them that that's the beauty of certification that's what certification really is for they can pull your certificate if you go against them and this happens through all professions and that's why they try and coerce or blackmail everyone to go along uh, in the medical profession especially because so many now in the medical professions are realizing that a lot of the stuff they're doing is detrimental to the health of the people. They won't do it themselves. Yeah. Ask how many doctors will go through the full program of chemotherapy or surgeries. Ask how many doctors will take all these shots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they don't. That, I, I know, give an example, four years, three and a half years ago, they told all us doctors we're going to all have to take this uh, new smallpox vaccine that was going to be put out uh, because they said there was going to be a smallpox pandemic. And we went back and researched and said, my God, this stuff, if we, if we vaccinated all of the 900,000 doctors, we'd have 6,000 casualties. 6,000 casualties. Most of them would be either permanently disabled or dead. <laughs> and so we said, hell no. And guess what? We, and guess what? Tommy Thompson said, I guess he clicked his little heels together and said, I guess no does mean no, doesn't it, docs? You must have a clue. But yet you tell the public to go take all that garbage. That's what's going on, people. Wake up. We have them trying to turn us doctors into Dr. Mangala, and the licensure process is part of the game. We'll be back in just a moment with Alan Watt. to the Nuclear Medical Report. Your calls and, and comments are welcome because this is not just our program, it's your program out there. This is the Voice of Liberty, and we still have it in America, but not necessarily for long. Remember, keep these archives, copy them, make sure you send links. If you want to know what to do, the first thing you can do is you become a micro-broadcaster. Pick up the signal. If you want to get a Rick satellite, I'll give you that number. That number is 816-228-1801. You get a crystal clear signal on digital satellite, both North and South America, all the shows, Monday to Friday, 2 to 4 p.m. after Alex, and also 
on Sunday evening, 8 to 10 p.m. We'll be going back to our live shows on Sunday evening in September on through the fall. And uh, do also try to get a hold of your local radio station. Check with all the talk radio stations in your part of the country, whether you're in America or elsewhere. You can pick up the signal. Call, and we can help you if you have any questions on helping to connect. That's really important to get out to your AMFM stations in your city or town across America, Canada, Europe, and elsewhere because we have a major problem. Most of the things that are spoken of on this program could not be spoken in Canada, Britain, Australia, or pretty well any other country or you would go to prison or things would happen that would be really bad really quickly, which is why the United Nations is now is calling for our guns. We have Marianne in Arkansas. You have a question for Alan or myself. Go ahead. You're on the air. Marianne, you're on the air. I guess she doesn't hear us yet. And back to Alan. Alan. Yes. Tell us some more about uh, what you see happening in this next six months because it's a very precarious time. You see literally jockeying, even though they have kind of uh, fluid plans and probably multiple parallel plans, it seems like there's a great deal of uh, not exactly they're just, they're trying to chop up the pie differently. Let's put it that way. With Mr. Putin now exerting his bear bomber runs, with the Chinese kind of saying that they're ready to pull the currency and warning that they will attack Taiwan. Uh, there's not happiness in Camelot, is there? Yes. Uh, again, it's it's all a, a rigged game. It's the world that must be fooled. Really, it's the people of the world and every country that must be fooled into our doomsday period where they want to reduce the population and no, there's no better way to do it than having some kind of war that way you don't realize that the people that are, that are guiding you through the war are actually your worst enemies <laughs> uh, it's all an agenda at the top because in the 1700s and 1800s they got together and formed the global associations and they put their faith in sciences and one of their mandates was to vastly reduce the population into a more manageable level through scientific means and they couldn't tell the public they were going to do this because the public would turn on them so they'd have to use each other for war purposes so they could always point the finger across the sea somewhere and blame those guys over there right. but the leader of those guys would also be in bed with your own leaders that's how easy it is to control the minds of the public I had uh, contacts inside Lucent Technologies uh, a US Space Command and so on tell me that in fact uh, at the time when the fall of Glasnost and Perestroika it's like the recent movie that I saw where they said, you know, there are no spur parts. All of the Russian war machine is rusting, you know, at the time when when, it, when we were way out spending uh, the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. uh, and what was funny was the whole issue that since the Glasnost and Perestroika, we've transferred technology to Russia and China at the speed of light. Unbelievable trillions of dollars of 70 plus years of advanced technology and science so they could leapfrog into space with China, uh, satellite technology, advanced weapon systems. Uh, it's just disgusting. And uh, nobody thinks anything of it, of, you know, Mr. Chow with uh, Mr. Clinton, uh, the contributions to his campaigns in his second term. It goes on and on. And it doesn't matter which administration. It's all so evil. At the same time, they're literally setting it up so they can use their people to fight our people and kill all of us. That's the whole plan, is, is to bring a war uh, on an entire planet and, and in such a way that everyone fights everyone else on the way down without realizing that they're all in bed at the top. Uh, that's the only way they can pull this off. And as I say, your, your own elite would never give power to what could be a potential enemy and, and their finances to them as well. They'd never, ever do that because their safety comes first. The only way they do that is when uh, the guys over in China at the top uh, are all part of the global structure already. They're bought and paid for. They own China. The guys in the West own China. Of course they do. Uh, that's why we know that there's all connections. And yet, at the same time, we know that eventually these guys will start kind of uh, just going beyond just cutting up the pie to cutting up each other. Uh, they, they, that's inevitable with their mentality, their psychopathic mentality. Uh, it's interesting what you said about the IQ of George Bush because it is true generally uh, in psychopathy uh, they have tremendous cunning. It's almost a gift that uh, uh, compensates for the lack of IQ. Uh, they can see around. They're very streetwise and things. 
Well, I think it's actually bred into them. I think literally we're dealing with advanced predators. Mm -hmm. That even when they have borderline intelligence, they have advanced predatory talents of manipulation and total. Uh, how can I say that? There's a, a, a like a, a portion of their personhood that's gone, and what's replacing it is animal cunning of a of a of a very very advanced level. Absolutely, and this is uh, a standard uh, psychopath we're, we're seeing. Uh, with, his, with his little quips when he's not reading his script he'll tell you what he thinks and it's, it's right from the mouth of the psychopath uh, they are pure ego they live on pure ego and they will take the world with them if they could if they can't get their way yeah, and of course we know that, uh, and as I mentioned the other day, the similarity, if you look at the statue in, in Rome of uh, Nero, you say, he looks exactly like Bill Clinton. I couldn't believe it when I was over there a few years ago looking, going through the, the uh, Italy and, and going through, going through uh, uh, the Louvre in Paris, and I said, I realize we're dealing with the same people down through the ages so Sumer and Egypt and uh, Europe it's the same characters yeah, the global elite always interbreed for power because they marry more power and more money and then they have priesthoods that match them up uh, for genetic reasons for certain qualities they want from leaders they don't want people with compassion they want them to be fairly ruthless as a, a king would be and uh, so they're matched and interbred and, and when countries fall as empires grow and take over to bigger empires, the elite never get killed off. They simply move into the next empire which they've built and take over. So, yeah, it has been going on for thousands of years. Their genealogies, they're very, very proud of their genealogies. And there is obviously a priesthood that deals with the mating of these people. We saw that with Princess Di. It was all over the British papers at the time uh, when they, they knew they had to get fresh blood into the royal family because they were so interbred that the features even were becoming deformed and uh, they, they picked uh, Princess Di to, to try and bring some fresher blood still related but from a, a further family from the Stuart lineage yeah, exactly, and uh, uh, this is why these people are so psychopathic we're dealing with basically inbred monstrosities is what we have mm -hmm. and, and the thing is too, because they have they must prosper in a, this system of winners and losers and money then they naturally get to the top because they, they crave power. It's a, an unnatural craving for power by, at any cost. Uh, uh, they don't care how many they kill to get it. And they always get rise to the top in every country. And therefore, that's what we have. We have a psychopathic elite worldwide. They, can, they have the money, therefore they can hire as many scientists and as many soldiers they want to work for them. They hire the think tanks to, to plan out the future, see the problems that might come along and how to overcome them before they even start the game. So they don't have to really participate very much in their agenda. Uh, in fact, someone said to me that um, when Rothschild, uh, Lord Rothschild used to make a, a, a demand that was, it was meant as a suggestion, he'd say so-and-so is becoming a trouble, some sort of trouble to me. And his his advisors knew what he meant, and they'd take care of the problem. Yeah, it was and, never, uh, and, and he doesn't have to have the super high IQ. He can hire them. He can hire the scientists, right. the economists. He can see the overall predatorial plan, and it's totally ruthless. And the king rats have risen to the top. Yeah, uh, and, and that's that, that why the helpers. It's interesting you mentioned that because the helpers, their advisors, the lesser advisors in the CFR and Royal Institute of International Affairs are getting edgy now because they see that in the near future their jobs won't be necessary either uh -huh. and that they're starting to flee the, the countries looking for safe places to live. Paraguay and other places we're going to now Marianne I hope she's back and others call in 866-582-9933 your questions for Alan Watt we'll be back in a moment and of course Alan's back regularly cutting through the matrix.com you need to go there get the materials it's important to clear and get over the mental lobotomy caused by our culture. Welcome back to the Nutra Medical Report. And we do have Marianne, I hope, in Arkansas and other callers, 866-582-9933. Uh, an issue that's come up that seems to be one that's... Uh, Kind of strange is the issue I call the mosquitoes. I guess would be the best term. Uh, people that buzz around and try to control what you put on your shows, what you say. Each of us has their own particular character. Uh, each of us has their own expertise in areas where they feel competent. And to try to control various hosts because they do or don't want to cover specific issues is a, a good example of someone I think it falls into those three categories I mentioned earlier. Uh, and uh, it's amazing to me 
as, as, as I said earlier, that if I had a dollar for every time somebody accused me of being, quote, one of the guys on the dark side, and, don't, and, and literally, literally they need to grasp this. Like, get a grip of yourself, people out there listening. Uh, people like myself are walking a line with a bullet with our name on it. And this is no joke. I'm not doing this show for ego, for attention, or anything. I'm doing it because I have to. Uh, when I was the exit examining doctor for the Oklahoma City Murrah Building, when I was a doctor taking care of the Englewood Fire Department and the first kid shot in Columbine, when I worked in U.S. Space Command and saw all these damn things, if you think I wanted to know this stuff, you're nuts. But I can tell you, once I knew that, just like the Prophet Jeremiah, I didn't have any choice. Just like a good American citizen uh, with a backbone, I didn't have any choice but to face the truth that we've always been lied to, that the global elite have always controlled the universities and the political organizations and have infiltrated every religion from Sabbatianism into the Jewish faith to the Jesuits and the Catholic and the, and the uh, so-called Christian uh, various organizations that now follow lockstep after this bisexual pedophile presidency uh, into multiple countries and wars and invasions uh, to the uh, Salafism and the Wahhabism that's infiltrated with Satanism into Islam. All of this is so evil, but people need to wake up and realize they need to stop attacking those people that are on the front lines and start getting behind us because we're all facing a possible nuclear war within the next six months, the next six to 18 months of uh, pandemics, and they want to kill you. They don't just want to take all your property. They might want to do that initially, but their ultimate plan is reduction of world population, and they want you in a mass grave. You better get a life. We're out here trying to save your hide, whether you're a billionaire of special forces, or you're living in Canada, the United States, India, China, if you're listening around the world, translate this and get a life. We're out here doing things like testing the forensics of the World Trade Center, not just because it's entertaining or it's going to sell books. We're doing it so they don't blow up multiple cities and declare world martial law. They're getting ready to chip the world population, and I wish this could be cured with a shot or a pill. It can't. Uh, your comments, Alan. Uh, there's no doubt that's exactly what it is. It's summed up right there. Uh, it's, it's a war on the world. The whole world must be hoodwinked to, to believe it's one faction or another that's causing it, where in reality, we have to go down quietly fighting each other and never guessing that there's a, a big puppet master above that is composed of elite families from all nations and cultures that are in cahoots together. And even Malachi Martin, who was a Jesuit priest himself, admitted in his book, uh, Windswept House, uh, that it was game over, everything was completely infiltrated, uh, perversion was everywhere through, throughout his particular church. But he also mentioned that even in Israel, uh, there was a high Masonic lodge there where all the factions of all the nations got together, including the terrorists, and had their Masonic meetings. So. Right, you know, the, high, the most Masonic place in the whole world uh, that I've ever actually walked by, Larry, was in Jerusalem, which is the, uh, the uh, what do they call it, the, uh, they have the Great Synagogue of Jerusalem. A very evil place. Again, you say, well, great synagogue, why would that be evil? It's because this is not run by nice people. This is not, you know, the nation of Israel is not written for Jews or to, for, for uh, worshipping the Most High God. No, uh, we're not talking about that. They're trying to set up a dialectic of conflict between the religions and the nations of the world so they can create these geotectonic and, and spiritual wars and conflicts to kill us all. That's well, their plan. What we too is, is their thing is that the Knights Templars, remember, and during the Crusades, they had a king of Israel that was sent over, one of the, the higher lords, the Norman lords. And he's his descendants still run today. They still are alive today in very high positions. And when the Knights Templars uh, were vanquished in France alone, they were still existing in the Middle East. Many of them stayed on, intermied with all different peoples. And, uh, and these are the families today you're seeing that are, that are the head of all religions. That, and those followers don't recognize them for what they really are. Yeah, They're I quite know. content to, to, to put, uh, put skins over their, their heads or wear different wigs but, or even change their names, but it's the same descendants. Yeah, I want people to also be aware of the new uh, religious cults, like the uh, exopolitics cults, uh, like the uh, cults that deal with all these other contactee garbage. Uh, they need to realize that there is no one, not one, religion that has not been infiltrated. Not one. And that includes also atheism, communism, any other ism you can think of is Luciferian and satanic. And That's just the way it is. Because, uh, because otherwise, you see, anything not authorized would cause ripple effects 
and they could lose control of order throughout society. So that's your key to it. Uh, anything that's authorized and is pushed and promoted by big money uh, is from the same source. Well, even this uh, guy, David Livingston, yesterday said that 90% of the funding for all the mosques in the Western world was through Saudi Arabia and the Wahhabist schools, and they were trying to radicalize part of policy P2OG. They just, average people that are, happen to be Muslim, just because they're born into a Muslim family, just want to go to work and have a decent car and a home and an education and, and have a reasonable life. They're just trying to live. Well, they, the powers that be in the world want to radicalize them to make a good straw man, to make a good enemy. Uh, that's why this is so deadly. The, the, the masters of confusion and babble, the masters of chaos, are also there ready to take over with their solution. Um, I hope Marianne is still there because I went on a little bit of a rant, but uh, Marianne, do you have your question? Go ahead. Yes, sir, Dr. Beagle, Dr. Deagle, and uh, Mr. White, God bless you both. Uh, since you started your rant, <laughs> you triggered a couple of thoughts. If you will allow me, and I ask your forgiveness, I've misplaced my first note, and I had to start all over again, but I'd just like to make two or three comments, maybe, and then I'll listen off air. But, uh, you know, as you were talking, I was reminded of... Uh, in uh, the, the Alps where the snow is really heavy and there's avalanches that just demolish everything. There's uh, expert people who go around and they assess the weak spots and they will target a small explosion into that weak area and it creates just a small thing that's controlled and then that prevents the large, large avalanche that would destroy everything in its path. And uh, I want to make an analogy here, too. Uh, you know, when there's a huge ship coming into a harbor, uh, it cannot operate in those waters, so it has to completely go powerless, and it depends on the tugboats to steer it and bring it to dock. And right now we've got tugboats on one side trying to take us to New World Order with martial law and whether it's the economy or whatever. And then we've got the other tugboats that's trying to bring us around to some reason. And I've got, an, I've got something I want to say, and I, I really pray this will bring an exponential acceleration to our side. And, and it's this. Uh, right now, uh, we have got some real momentum going. We've lost a tremendous hero, Aaron Russo. Right. Uh, Gary Franchi is doing a wonderful job. Ed Brown with Fred Smart. Uh, they have Freedom Fest and Freedom University. There's Edward Griffin with Freedom International. And then Bob Schultz now is closing down his website voluntarily. But it's mandated. And uh, what, we, what we've failed to do in the past is have our little tugboats all in a, on a time, you know, continuity, uh, same, same channel. Okay, here's my idea, and that is what we need to do, even if it requires having a new meetup group, let all of these groups, let us decide on one name. And what we must do in every county, every county, is have someone who will step forth and be a leader and find like-minded people because now I've got something that talks about where the UN has targeted the mayors. Uh, okay, now, in a small community, if you've got three or four people, and I don't care if it's a county judge, a sheriff, a mayor, I don't care what it is. If you've got those five people working together, you've pretty much controlled that county. But we've got to take this back block by block by block. I agree. That's called a Delphi technique, and it's okay, important and because uh, we need to start actually doing exactly what you're saying. We need to get back reconnected, re-involved. We need to not disconnect. Thanks, everyone. Thank Excellent you, comments. Can you hold me over for one moment? Well, actually, we're at the end of the show, but we're going to be back tomorrow, so you got to we'll call do it in. Again. The... Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Final comments by Alan Watt. Watt. Cutting through the matrix.com. Alan, your final comments. Yes, the, the only thing with the tugboats would have to direct a, a different course rather than go into the same shore and start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Uh, we need to actually start moving as a uh, as a army that is moving against an enemy rather than, uh, than shooting at our own backs. We need to start realizing that cataclysm is coming because they're planning to destroy our army, our army with their army and they're arranging the little green men on the hill to kill them all. Uh, thanks, Alan. You've done a great job today. We'll be back tomorrow with another amazing show. We're going to have Frosty Woolridge on Hour 2 tomorrow. Generation Plus, and we'll, of course, have Alan back regularly on the New Dramatical Report. Thank you, Alan, and thank you for listening, everyone.
hundreds of hours of work that I've done in conjunction with other nuclear scientists. We now have success. We are going to be testing to parts per quadrillion. We will find out the answer, and we'll report it, positive or negative, because science is science. It's based on numbers, not my opinion. Just like when I said predictively and, and not based on opinion that the avian flu is completely weaponized, I have the documents from the the Doctor Who World Health Organization, I have the gene sequences, it's not an opinion when it's science. And once we have the numbers, we already have significant to show uranium, beryllium, which is a neutron donor and a neutron amplifier. Uh, we have the tritium, 48,000 curies in the World Trade Center. We have the 30 anomalies, which you can see, plus additional historical issues that you need to know about. Uh, in addition to thermate, and there's pretty good proof that there was thermate in the World Trade Center, but there's multiple layers used to make this Mona Lisa demolition. Uh, and the grave danger of, in the words of Chertoff and Cheney, of another or multiple cities being hit as a pretext to start a nuclear attack against Iran, which will precipitate a nuclear exchange, at least a limited nuclear war, a cataclysm of the global economy, and in the midst of a climate shift, not due to the Carbo Nazi plan, but in the, uh, literally the dialectic of chaos is always being stage managed by the pay people, same people that present the quote answer, which is their solution. Problem, reaction, solution, they're always ready with their particular plan to at many levels that a lot of the people in the so-called New World Order are not happy with what's going on. The CFR members, these globalist millionaires, billionaires, they know that the cataclysms that could come could wipe them out too or kill them. And uh, they need to get a life and realize that we need to terminate this plan now to start World War III, to terminate the blowing out of the dollar, terminate the destruction of the environment with their yeah, eco-catastrophe policies while they shove carbon taxes down our throat. Uh, it's all a death march of the lemmings. And uh, to cut through that matrix, tell us your analysis of this death march that Bush is now back on the war drums uh, as a prelude in the next six months to attacking Iran while Putin starting his bear bomber runs. The Chinese are ready to pull the U.S. dollar with their trillions of debt and their uh, derivatives, and uh, the economy is teetering on a total blowout. Well, I think it's a ex excellent coordination from those at the top of all countries, because the ones at the top of all countries are in bed together. They always have been. Sure they have. That's why, uh, at the same time, they're pirates. They're, they're pirates, and... Uh, well, you find out, too, is it is a brotherhood at the top. You go down through the centuries, they've all had their brotherhoods and their coats of arms and their honorary degrees and all the rest of it. Yeah, and that includes, by the way, the KGB. I want this, everybody to get this. When the Gellenschaft and the German high-level Masonic orders, and there are two major ones that came together, the Thule and the, and the Gellenschaft, and they went to Japan to deal with them, to corral us and control us, and you need to know that every religion, whether it's the uh, Roman Catholics or the Jesuits, the Jews through the Sabbateans, the Wahhabis within Islam, and uh, all of the other major religions, all of them have been infiltrated at the top level by these satanic, luciferian, bisexual pedophiles. Uh, so we don't want to just target one group. They're all bad. And uh, they are all shaking hands, urinating in each other's boots with a knife at each other's belly and a gun at each other's back. That's the kind of dialectic we have to realize we're dealing with pirates. And in fact, that's why the Jolly Roger was the skull and bones. So uh, with that little segue, we're going to introduce our brilliant and cutting through the matrix expert, Alan Watt, who's on at least twice a month to cut through the matrix. Do visit his website, cutting through the matrix, and get his documents. Once you start reading these, you'll start analyzing, and you'll go beyond, as I say, you'll transcend the dogma and the dialectics of confusion, the babble that's out there, and you'll start to make up your own mind which is what God gave you, a mind to be made up. Don't let us do it, for God's sake. Be a skeptic. Uh, even when we show you Zone 1, 2, or 3 information, go check it out yourself and accept what you can at this time. We don't expect you to, but things are moving along so quickly, we don't have a lot of time, so we need to move forward. Welcome to the program, Alan. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Alan, um, there's a lot of things going on lately, and again, uh, I, I find it... to the Nutramedical Report, hour number two, stream four on GCN. Do get a GCNlive.com membership. Get all the archives from all the great GCN shows. Also, you can listen on Nutramedical, N-U-T-R-I, 
Medical.com or ClayAndIron.com. Do sign up on both websites because you get our free e-newsletters. We'll begin launching again next week, right after the Labor Day weekend. Those newsletters are sent out roughly every two weeks with lots of great news, specials, information, and things that are going to give you lots of links. You can also go to the archives. We usually have the show up either by the evening or the next day. They're all cross-indexed by date and by topic. We're also putting together sets on those so they'll be available. And in the fall, we have plans not only for more DVDs and documentaries. The DVD is now available for the conference in Vancouver, two talks. The first talk is the uh, 20 Minutes, the Origins, in the Grand Hall at the Vancouver 9-11 Truth Conference of the, nine, of the uh, uh, Illuminati, the Global Matrix, the Global Elite, the Origins of the New World Order. And the next 40 minutes, 30 anomalies plus the proof. The proof, significant 30 anomalies, going back to the anonymous Finnish uh, um, munitions expert, uh, work by Dr. Ed Ward, Ted Tweetmeyer, and many other scientists, and many hundreds. Hilarious. When I see, literally, the building is on fire, and someone wants to accuse the firefighters for causing uh, injury while they're trying to grab people from the building, and their house, their, their, literally their night clothes are on fire trying to get them out of the building. It's... Uh, we see this when we see infighting within the so-called 9-11 movement. We see false accusations that you don't do this or that. Uh, all of it is, is, is to say if I had a dollar <laughs> uh, for each time that I was uh, uh, accused of being this or that, I would say I, I could be a very rich person. Uh, it doesn't deserve a response because the people that are doing it fall into one class of three things, and uh, not by any names. They fall into the class of being uh, egomaniacs, which is not good because you need to do what you can do, whether you're talented or not, and that might just simply be stuff a windshield with a CD copy of whatever you can from these shows or DVDs or buy some. Um, second thing is the group of people that are what I call clearly psychotic. They've focused on one issue, and they've just really lost perspective. They're just not seeing the whole big picture and the third group are, are literally infiltrators. We see people that have infiltrated the movement that really don't have a good agenda, and they need to get a life along with people that are in the CFR, the billionaires, the millionaires, because they're all uh, caught in this matrix. I happen to know from my contacts and uh, various people that I've talked to,